Recently, the new owner of the Miss Universe pageant asked on her Instagram whether or not we should bring back the Miss Congeniality title. The Miss Congeniality title was done away with after 2020, and it has gone by many names, um, such as Miss Friendship, Miss Amity. <laughs> Over the years, there have been many, many Miss Congeniality winners, you know, going under Miss Friendship, Miss Amity, and of course, the well-known Miss Congeniality title. And this all started when Miss Universe started in 1952, when Miss Friendship was crowned. And I thought in this video it would be so, you know, interesting to go through all of the Miss Congeniality winners. So, and by the way, Miss Congeniality is awarded to the girl who makes the best impact on other contestants, um, especially when it comes to building friendships, you know, just making good impact in general. And traditionally and historically, the Miss Congeniality winner has been chosen by her fellow contestants. I think that Miss Congeniality is such a great indicator of a woman's personality, especially her ability to make friends with other women. So much so that I actually believe that the Miss Congeniality votes should in a percentage you know go towards who actually wins miss universe but that might be a very controversial thing to say without further ado let's look at all of the miss congenialities that we've had throughout the decades starting with miss friendship in 1952 and um, the miss friendship title would go on for a while until being renamed miss amnity and then of course being just known as miss congeniality so in 1952 belgium's miriam lynn was crowned miss friendship aka miss congeniality and unfortunately she has since passed away but hoping that she will forever remain in the hearts and minds of her fellow contestants as Miss Friendship. So cute. In 1952, actually it's an interesting thing because in the early days of Miss Universe, Miss USA and Miss Universe were held on the same week and they were basically held together. The women were interacting with each other and so there was always a chance for the one of the states of Miss USA to be crowned as Miss Friendship or Miss Congeniality. And this is exactly what happened in 1953 when Jean Thompson of Louisiana got the Miss Congeniality title at Miss USA slash Miss Universe of that year. Of course, she didn't compete at Miss Universe. The next year, Greece's Effie Andrulakakis took the Miss congeniality crown. In 1955, it was Maribel Arieta of El Salvador. She was also the first runner-up of Miss Universe 1955 and a notable Marilyn Monroe lookalike. Some of the pictures of this woman, guys, you won't believe. She, You wouldn't know whether or not it's Marilyn or Maribel. Anyway, moving on. In 1956, it was Annabella Granados from Costa Rica. In 1957, Miss Congeniality was Puerto Rico's Mapita Mercado Cordero. In 1958, it was Tomoko Muritake from Japan. In 1959, it was Sotsai Vanid Vadhana from Thailand. In 1960, it was Mient Mient May from Burma. Now, you guys may or may not know, Burma is actually modern-day Myanmar. So it used to be called Burma. It's just Myanmar, okay? In 1961, it was Eleftheria de Luzzi from Greece. She also famously collapsed backstage after not making the top 15. This was actually quite common in the early days of Miss Universe, especially in the 60s. I know about one Miss Nigeria, I think it was in 1966, who also collapsed backstage. Anyway, in 1962, Norma Nolan from Argentina got Miss Congeniality. And this is actually the only time ever that Miss Congeniality and the winner of Miss Universe ended up being the same person. So, you know, I think the judges of that year definitely knew what was up. So Norma Nolan was not only Miss Universe 1962, but also Miss Congeniality of 1962. 
1963, it was Grace Taylor of Scotland. In 1964, it was again one of those years that Miss USA and Miss Universe were held together and California's Jean Venables ended up getting the Miss Congeniality title. But do not fret because this is actually the last time that Miss Universe and Miss USA were held like this. <laughs> so from this time onwards, there were only countries winning Miss Congeniality, of course, which we love. In 1965, it was Ingrid Bietke from Germany. In 1966, interestingly, there were two winners. So there was a tie for Miss Congeniality. One of the winners was Elizabeth Sanchez from Curaçao, and the other one was Paquita Torres from Spain. In 1967, it was again Scotland, Lena McGarvey. In 1968, it was Yasuyo Lino from Japan. In 1969, it was Zora Bufaden from Tunisia. In 1970, it was Hillary Best from Guam. And Guam would actually end up becoming one of the leading countries when it comes to Miss Congeniality. I'm guessing the ladies from Guam are just absolutely amazing. I would love to be a Guamish lady's friends. Is that how you say it? Guamish? <laughs> in 1971, Magnolia Martinez from Peru took the Miss Congeniality Award. In 1972, it was Ombayi Mukuta from Zaire. In 1973, it was Jeanette Robertson from Chile. In 1974, it was Anna daughter from Iceland. In 1975, it was Christine Mary Jackson from Trinidad and Tobago. And interestingly, in 1976, it was Trinidad and Tobago once again when Margaret McFarlane took the Miss Congeniality title. So for the first time ever, there was a back-to-back -back when it came to the country who won Miss Congeniality. In 1977, Canada's Pamela Mercer took the Miss Congeniality title. In 1978, again, it was Trinidad and Tobago with Sofia Titus. In 1979, it was Yurika Kuroda from Japan. In 1980, it was Delia Devon Walter from Cayman Islands. In 1981, it was Linda Smith from the Bahamas. In 1982, the Cayman Islands had a bit of a sandwich victory when Maureen Lewis took the title. In 1983, Gambia's Abby Scatrell Janet took the title. In 1984, it was Jessica Palau from Gibraltar. In 1985, it was Guam's Lucy Montinola. And in 1986, yet again, it was Guam's Dina Reis Salas, so another back-to-back -back when it comes to Miss Congeniality. In 1987, it was Honduras's Francia Tatiana Reis. And in 1988, it was yet again Guam when Lisa Maria Camacho took the Miss Congeniality title of Miss Universe 1988. At Miss Universe 1989, Turks and Caicos got the Miss Congeniality title through Sharon Simmons. In 1990, Germany actually got the Miss Congeniality title through Christiane Stoker. Now, by this time, um, Miss Congeniality was known as Miss Amity. It had been known as this for a while by this time, so it wasn't Miss Friendship anymore. And in 1991, Monique Lindsay from the US Virgin Islands took the Miss Congeniality title. In 1992, Barbara Johnson from Turks and Caicos took the title. In 1993, it was Jamila Danzuru from Ghana. In 1994, I'm happy to report Barbara Kahachipara from Namibia took the Miss Congeniality title. This makes me so proud. In 1995, it was Toyin Raji from Nigeria. In 1996, Jodie McMillan from Australia took the title. And in 1997, yet again, it was Australia's Laura Thornton who took the title. So in 1996 and 1997, there was a back-to-back -back Miss Congeniality win for Australia. In 1998, it was Turkey's Asuman Kraus who took the title. Now, isn't this woman just absolutely gorgeous? I must say, gorgeous face. In 1999, it was Portugal's Marisa Ferreira who took the title. 
And in the year 2000, Aruba's Tamara Scaroni took the title of Miss Congeniality. In 2001, Nakira Sims from Bahamas took the Miss Congeniality title. And in 2002, it was Merlisa George from the US Virgin Islands. In 2003, it was Kai Davis from Antigua and Barbuda. In 2004, it was Laia Manetti from Italy. And in 2005, Tricia Homer from the US Virgin Islands was Miss Congeniality of Miss Universe 2005. In 2006, Ghana's Angela Asare took the title. In 2007, it was Zhang Ningning from China. In 2008, El Salvador's Rebecca Moreno took the Miss Congeniality title. In 2009, China won yet again with Wang Yingyao. And in 2010, Australia actually got another Miss Congeniality title through Jacinta Campbell, who was also the second runner-up at Miss Universe 2010. In 2011, Nicolina Lonkar from Montenegro was Miss Congeniality. In 2012, it was Laura Godoy from Guatemala. In 2013, it was Yin Ye from China. And in 2014, it was Queen Celestine from Nigeria. Her actual name is Queen. How insane is that? In 2015, of course, that very famous Miss Universe edition, it was Whitney Shikongo from Angola. Now, Shikongo is a Namibian surname, if I ever heard one. So I wonder if Whitney is originally from Angola or not. But anyway, we have Korea's Jenny Kim winning Miss congeniality in 2016 at Miss Universe and this might be surprising to some of you because of course nowadays we know Jenny Kim as Miss Supranational 2017 but no she actually competed at Miss Universe 2016 and won Miss Congeniality but unfortunately did not place. In 2017 Farah Sedki from Egypt won Miss Congeniality in 2018, it was Ornella Gunzekere from Sri Lanka. And in 2019, it was Olga Bulava from Poland. And that was the very last time we had a Miss Congeniality. Ah, oh, so sad. So, yes, I definitely think that Miss Universe should bring, bring back Miss Congeniality. I think it's such a... It's such a gorgeous thing to do to have all of the contestants vote for the woman who has made the greatest impact on them. You know, the woman who has been the best, you know, greatest friend. I think that's beautiful and they should continue that. And not only that, again, controversially, I do think that maybe the miscongeniality votes should have a place when it comes to determining the final winner. So let me know you guys' thoughts on Miss Congeniality. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.